In today's video, I wanted to discuss lightning storms a bit more. I did discuss it, of course, in the test live, but today I actually decided to make a video and show you the footage that I have been recording for the past few raid days and figured that was a great, uh, you know, great footage for you guys to watch while I discuss this. And of course, I want to hear your personal opinions and experiences with lightning in the comments and how you guys feel about it. I do want to touch on this in my rant video, but I figured its own video would just kind of make more sense because it is, it, it's kind of a broad topic. It's a very new dynamic to be added to the game. It, it's just the mechanics of it are insane. Of course we have gods, but gods take time. There's a lot of effort to getting a god. To getting these, there's a bit of effort. You have to literally farm out the magic, get the spell pages, get the ingredients to craft the recipes. But once you learn it, you learn it, especially on official servers. You learn it, you know it, you got it, you're good to go. Now, as you're watching the video, the, the thing about lightning is it's, it's just sporadic. It's gonna go wherever it wants, just as lightning does. You can't really be a conductor for it, even though we try, but if it strikes you, it doesn't really seem to damage the structure as if it just hits the structure in a certain area. I want to say stability is a big thing about it because if it hits the right thing and destroys that and it inflicts enough damage it just takes out a huge chunk of the base. But does it belong in the game? I don't know if it belongs in the game. I'm not going to say yes, I'm not going to say no. I am going to say I don't think Funcom understands the PvP community at all. And I don't think they understand the PvE community. I don't think they understand their player base. And I, I, I get that from watching their live streams where they wanted to discuss the battle pass in Bazaar so much as if this was such a great accomplishment, you know, and battle passes and shops have existed in games for years now, especially mobile games. Don't get me started. But I'm not going to go off on a tangent about that. I'll put that in the rant video where it's better uh, constructed and... We'll just get to the points of things. The one thing I notice about lightning is, you know, the damage that it can inflict. It kind of takes a lot out of the raid at the same time. But on official servers and, you know, even some private servers where you're allowed to build while being raided, you, you can kind of out, you know, repair stuff. You can replace stuff quickly, especially with the building hammer. You can have someone dedicated but if you're at base, the best thing to do is to just counter it. The counter to it is extremely cheap and easy to acquire. So that is the easiest way. So before you flood the comment saying, but you can counter it. My point still stands though, if you're not at base to counter it. And I have noticed that event log is a bit glitchy with lightning damaging structures. It doesn't always tell me. So it's not always a good indicator for me to know if my base is being attacked by a lightning storm so keep that in mind i'm curious if any of you have experienced that as well with the event log not properly displaying the destruction of a lightning storm and then you get back to base and half your base is you know destroyed because of one lucky storm and with me saying one lucky storm it is about one lucky hit you know one lucky hit can change something and then you're just in but does it take kind of some of the fun out or can it actually create more fun in scenarios where I, I'm looking at this from official because private servers do wipe regularly. So there's never there's never really an alpha feel, you know, the alpha clans people like to talk about. And on official, if you have that clan and you're a solo, maybe duo trio, you could maybe make a play with lightning. And that could actually be a lot of fun and that could actually lead to, you know, some great content, you know, a great story right there. This clan that has been suppressing people on the server, they're just a bunch of assholes. And, you know, you get a lucky hit with lightning, you're, you're able to attack when they're not there, they're not paying attention, they don't counter it, they don't repair, rebuild properly. You know, scenarios like that seem like, you know, there's some, there, there's some optimistic viewpoints for the lightning itself. But as, as a whole, the mechanic of lightning, I don't personally think it belongs in the game. And I'm saying for PvP as well as PvE. Like, what are the, what's the point of this in PvE? 
if you play on a private server or a modded server and you're into RP or PvE, there there's better mods out there of magic, and this magic is so clunky and unnatural feeling. What what would be the use of this lightning storm to you know, I don't I don't understand it. It just an addition to add to the game, maybe cinematic value. Even from a PvE mechanic, you know, standpoint, I don't understand how it was a cool idea. It, it's random. It's not going to kill all the monsters in a group. Maybe if you're trying to use lightning in a PvE environment to destroy some creatures and stuff or thralls, it, it's going to be... It's going to be erratic. It's going to go wherever it wants. So I don't even know. For PvP, it seems like a PvP mechanic more because the amount of damage it can inflict rather than a PvE mechanic, but I don't think it's properly balanced for PvP. Now, of course, the grind to get to the lightning, it, it, it's not hard, but it's going to take some time and some know-how of the game, which means experienced players are going to thrive with lightning. And as you can see in this video, some of these bases, the people were actually there. Some of them were there, and when the lightning storm got casted, they just logged off. They just grabbed the loot and ran. They didn't want to deal with it. So you can tell these people aren't as experienced. They don't realize they can counter it. So if you're watching this video and you didn't realize you could counter it, you, you can counter it. So, you know, it's not hard at all. You can really slow down a raid and force them to use bombs and explosives and trebuchets and whatnot. So, so don't forget that, please. But I don't know, I've heard a lot of people complaining about lightning, but then I'm also on the other end of it where, well, you can counter it, and when lightning storms have shown up at our base, we have countered it, and then we get outside and PvP the group that's trying to use it against us. That's the best way to shut something ba down, is a great defense. Get out there, don't just sit in your base and, you know, constantly cast a spell to counter it. When that happens, we just start bombing in and then they give up. It's like, what do you want? I, you know, I, I, it's kind of hard for me. The PVP community, it's kind of hard sometimes to talk to you guys. You guys don't always make sense. I know a lot of new people have come back to the game that haven't played it in years, but there, there's a lot of crying going on about the lightning storm. Me personally, I'm not really that concerned about it. The biggest thing I'm concerned about is my event log and why sometimes the destruction from a lightning storm isn't showing up. That's the only thing I don't like. I would like that addressed. I would like, I'd like to know if that is an issue for anyone else, but I honestly don't know how I feel about the lightning storm still. I like it. I think it's fun. Um, it'll probably get disabled on the server I'm playing on. And maybe for good reason, and that's fine. I, I have no problem raiding the old way. I just hope they actually do address bombs because bombs are wonky right now. I don't know what's up with them. I don't know what they did, but can we just have old bombs back because they worked at least and we knew what they were going to do. These bombs, I never know what they're going to do. But I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on lightning. Do you think it belongs in the game? Do you think it doesn't? Do you think it's broken? Do you think it's fine? I mean, personally, from my experience with it, you can counter it easily. Yeah, it can do a lot of damage and it, it, it can be devastating. But I don't know. At the end of the day, I think it's kind of I think it's kind of fun. I, I don't know. Maybe make the pouches more expensive or something like that. Maybe reduce the damage, I don't know, to help please people. I don't know. Just feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. And until the next one, I'm out of here.